so this is iit jam 2024 mathematical methods mcq 1 marks question so we have to find the divergence of a three dimensional vector r cap by r cube where r cap is unit radial vector so we know that divergence of a vector in a spherical polar coordinate is given by so divergence r cap by r cube so this formula is 1 by r square then take partial derivative with respect to r r square into component of r cap and that component is 1 by r cube so this will be 1 by r square de ba de ba r 1 by r and if if we differentiate this that will be minus 1 by r square and this will be minus 1 by r power 4 so from given option option a is correct so this is iit jam 2024 mathematical methods mcq 1 marks question so in this question we have to find which of the following matrices is hermitian as well as unitary matrix so we know that for hermitian matrix m dagger that is m complex conjugate and its transpose if this is equal to same matrix m then matrix is that will be the condition for hermitian matrix this is for hermitian matrix and if m m dagger that is m dagger m is identity matrix then this matrix is unitary so we will check first for option a let's assume this matrix is m so we have to find let's find m complex conjugate so this matrix is given by i am writing this matrix as 0 this will be iota this is minus iota and 0 so this will give you m dagger that is m complex conjugate transpose so this will be row change to column so this becomes minus iota 0 and that will be same matrix m so m is hermitian m is hermitian now if we calculate m m dagger let's multiply these two matrix so matrix m is 0 minus iota iota 0 and m dagger is 0 minus iota iota and 0 so if we multiply it by row and column so this will be minus of iota square this will be 0 and this is also 0 and this will give you minus iota square so iota square is minus 1 so this will be 1 0 0 1 so that is an identity matrix and similarly we can check that this this is also equal to m dagger m so m is a unitary matrix so this we have verified for option a this is for option a similarly if you verify for option b in that case we will get 
m dagger is minus 1 and that is the condition for skew hermitian matrix and if we calculate m m dagger this is identity so one is skew hermitian another is unitary but we want both should be unitary so in option c if you calculate in option c m dagger is m you can easily verify so m is a hermitian but if you calculate m m dagger that is not equal to identity matrix so second condition will not satisfy similarly in option d if you check m dagger so m dagger is m but if you calculate m m dagger that should be twice of identity so that is not equal to identity so only in option a both conditions are satisfied that is m dagger is m and m m dagger is identity so option a is correct So this is IIT Jam 2024 Mathematical Methods MCQ 2 Marks Question. Now we have to find the value of line integral of the vector V along the closed path O A B O as shown in this figure. So path is shown that is O A B O. And the AB is the arc of circle of unit radius. So we have to find closed V dot DL along the path O A B O. So we will use here Stokes theorem to simplify your calculation. So we will write this as del cross v dot da. So let us first calculate what will be curl of v. So for curl of v, we will expand this determinant. This is let's say x cap. This is Y cap and you have Z cap component. So this is deba deba X, deba deba Y and deba deba Z. And this will be 2. This will be YZ square. And this component will be 3Y plus Z square. So if we expand this x cap component will be this will be 3 minus 2yz you can easily expand this and minus y cap this will be 0 minus 0 we have to take partial derivative and then you have plus z cap this will be also 0 minus 0 so this becomes 3 minus 2yz x cap. This is del cross v. Now we want to simplify our calculation so that we have to use here cylindrical coordinate system. And in, if we want to use cylindrical coordinate system, we will draw let's draw this figure in x y plane same path will be redrawn in x y plane and this this will be o this is a this is b and let's use this path then this will be the surface now, if we write del cross V in X, Y plane, then we can write because given equation is in 
y z plane so if you write this in x y plane this will be 3 minus 2 x y and this will be z cap now area element d a on this surface so let's draw an area element so if we use the right hand rule this direction will be z cap so d a will given by in cylindrical coordinate r dr d phi and z cap and here x is r cos phi and y is r sin phi so let us write del cross v dot da in cylindrical coordinate so this will be 3 minus 2 times x into y so x into y will give you r square cos phi into sin phi and this z dot z dot z will be 1 so this will be simply r dr and d phi so this is del cross v in cylindrical coordinate now we have to find surface integral del cross v dot da so this will be double integral 3 minus 2 r square cos phi sin phi r dr and d phi where r varies from 0 to 1 and phi varies from 0 to pi by 2 so let's integrate with respect to r and phi so first term will be 3 r square by 2 so that will give you 1 by 2 and d phi is pi by 2 so that will be pi by 2 so that is first integral now in second integral will be minus of so this will be minus of r cube that will give you r power 4 so that is 1 by 4 and sine 2 phi integral will be minus cos 2 phi by 2 and that is 0 to pi by 2 so this will give you 3 pi by 4 minus 1 by 4 and this will be minus cos pi plus cos 0 by 2 so we will get 3 pi by 4 minus 1 by 4 because this value will be 1 so from the given option because we have calculated del cross v dot da and this value will be 3 pi by 4 minus 1 by 4 so option a is correct so this is iit jam 2024 mathematical methods MCQ 2 marks question so in this question in the XY plane a vector FXY is given the magnitude of the flux of del cross F through a circular loop of radius 2 centered at the origin is four options are given so we know that flux is given by surface integral del cross f dot d and in this question we will use the stokes theorem 
to find the flux and that will be same as closed f dot dl so let us first calculate curl of f so we know how to find the curl of f in cartesian coordinate so we will expand this determinant you know this formula so this is x cap y cap z cap then day by day by x day by day by y day by day by z and this component will be minus y by x square plus y square and this component is x by x square plus y square and this component will be 0 so if we write x cap so you can easily check x cap component will be this 0 minus 0 minus y cap component this will be again 0 minus 0 and z cap component will be this we can this we have to find that is day by day by x x by x square plus y square and then you will get this as plus day by day by y y by x square plus y square so we will expand this so z cap component is given by so this will be denominator x plus y square differential of numerator minus of x into 2x divided by x square plus y square whole square similarly here again we can write x square plus y square into 1 minus of y into 2y divided by x square plus y square whole square so this can be written as this will be minus x square plus y square and then you have plus x square minus y square divided by x square plus y square whole square so this will be 0 now del cross f is 0 so if you see vector f it's a special vector whose curl is 0 except at 0 0 this curl f will be 0 except at 0 0 so so answer we don't have to put 0 we have to check for f dot dl so that's why we will calculate closed f dot dl so vector f is given so this will be we have to find f dot dl so dl in cartesian coordinate dl in cartesian coordinate will be given by dx x cap plus dy y cap and let us consider this in x y plane this is x y plane this is z direction and this closed line will be a circle of radius 2 this will be the closed line so vector f is given so what will be uh, this vector f is given f we know this is minus y x cap plus x y cap divided by x square plus y square 
so f dot dl this will be given by minus y dx plus x dy divided by x square plus y square again to simplify our calculation because this circle has cylindrical symmetry so we will use the cylindrical coordinate system so let's assume i'm taking radius to be small r so x is r cos phi and y is r sin phi here r is 2 so dx will be given by minus r sin phi d phi and dy will be given by r cos phi d phi so again this implies f dot dl will be denominator is r square common so this will be cos square phi plus sin square phi and in numerator if we multiply y and dx so if we multiply y and dx so y this is minus of y is r sin phi minus of r sin phi and dx is minus r sin phi d phi and then x is r cos phi and dy is r cos phi d phi so if, if we solve this again this will be given by r square common sin square phi plus cos square phi d phi and this is divided by r square so this will give you simply d phi so closed f dot dl is this will be given by integral d phi and phi will be 0 to 2 pi so this will be 2 pi so now closed f dot dl is 2 pi and we have to calculate flux of del cross f that is closed f dot dl that we have calculated 2 pi so option b is correct so this is iit jam 2024 mathematical methods mcq 2 marks question and in this question it is given that the roots of a polynomial fz fz is given are z1 z2 z3 and z4 where z is a complex variable we have to find which of the following statement is correct so we have to find the ratio of sum of the roots of the polynomial divided by the mul multiplication of these polynomials so roots of a polynomial e equation are decided by a matrix m and we will write that matrix this matrix m is given by so let's see and this is a 4 cross 4 matrix because it's a polynomial of degree 4 so we will write the first row as 0 0 0 and this last term is given by we have to see this term this is plus 26 so I will write here minus of 26 then next term will be write, written by 1 0 0 now this term is we have to see minus 38 so we will write here plus 38 then you have 0 1 0 we will see this term so I will write here minus of 27 and then 
we have to use here 0, 0, 1 and let's see this coefficient. So, we will write here plus of 8. So, this matrix will decide this ratio and from the matrix you can see the trace of this matrix is given by sum of the diagonal element. So, this will be 8 and what will be determinant of this matrix? So, if we calculate the determinant of this matrix, that value is 26. We can easily verify. Now, if we have to write sum of roots of the polynomial that is z1 plus z2 plus z3 plus z4. So, this will be simply sum of the eigenvalues of the matrix and that will be trace of m trace of the matrix m and this will be 8 and then this is z1 z2 z3 z4 this will be given by that is product of eigenvalue of this matrix and that will be given by determinant of m. So, this will be 26. So, if we have to find the ratio of z1 plus z2 plus z3 plus z4 divided by that is z1, z2, z3 and z4. So, this ratio is given by 8 by 26 and that will be 4 by 13. So, option B is correct. So, this is IIT JAM 2024 Mathematical Methods Numerical Answer Type 1 Mark Question. And in this question, it is given that two sides of a triangle OAB are given by vector OA and OB. And we have to find the area of the triangle. So, in this case, we have this triangle, let's say this is O and this is vector OA and this is vector B. Now, area of the triangle is given by area of the triangle this is given by 1 by 2 modulus of OA cross OB. So, let us calculate OA cross AB. OA cross OB. So, we can easily calculate by taking cross product of these two vector so x cap y cap z cap so component of vector oa is 1 2 1 and this component is 2 minus 1 and 3 so x cap component will be given by 6 plus 1 minus y cap and this will be given by 3 minus 2 plus z cap this component is given by minus 1 and minus 4 so this vector will be 7 x cap minus of y cap minus of 5 z cap so now we have to find 
modulus of o a cross o b so this modulus will be given by under root 49 plus 1 plus 25 so this is under root 75 and if you calculate this value this is 8.66 so area of the triangle is given by 1 by 2 into 8.66 and this value is 4.33 and approximately this value is 4.3 because we have to write up to one decimal place so this will be 4.3 so this is IIT jam 2024 mathematical methods question of numerical answer type one marks question and in this question it is given that the coordinate system XYZ is transformed to the system UVW and this relation is given between U, V and W. And we have to find Jacobian of this transformation. So we know that Jacobian J is given by this is given by this transformation is from XYZ to UVW so we will write this as X Y and Z and this is defined by this determinant value that will be del U del X del u del y and del u del z then you have del v del x del v del y del v del z and last is we can write this as this will be del w by del x then del w by del y and del w by del z so this can be written as so from the given relation del u del x because you are taking partial derivative so this will be 2 this term will be 3 and this term will be minus 1 Similarly, from V, we will get 1, minus 4, and 1. And from third relation, we will get 1, 1, and 0. So, if we expand this, let's expand this about last row. So, this term is 1. So, that will be given by 3 minus of 4 then we have minus 1 and this will be given by 2 plus 1 and last term will be 0 so this value is this is minus 1 and minus 3 so we can write this as minus of 4 so Jacobian of this transformation is given by mod j value and this will be 4 so answer is 4 so this is IIT jam 2024 mathematical methods numerical answer type 2 marks question so in this question we have to see the Taylor expansion of function fx this fx is given here e power x sin x around x is equal to 0 what will be the coefficient of x power 5 so we know that Taylor expansion of a function 
एफ एक्स इज गिवन बाई एफ एक्स इज दिस इज अबाउ अराउंड एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो वी विल राइट इट एज एफ जीरो प्लस दिस इज एफ डैश जीरो डिवाइडेड बाई फैक्टोरियल वन एक्स प्लस एफ डबल डैश जीरो डिवाइडेड बाई फैक्टोरियल टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एंड सो ऑन फिफ्थ डेरिवेटिव एट जीरो डिवाइडेड बाई फैक्टोरियल फाइव एक्स पावर फाइव प्लस अदर टर्म्स सो वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस कोफिशियंट now from given function fx we will first see what will be f dash x so let's differentiate the function fx so this is first function differential of second this will be cos x plus e power x differential of e power x is e power x and this will be sin x so this is f dash x now we will find f double dash x so again this is this will be e power x into minus sin x and then e power x cos x then we have to see second term so second term will be e power x e power x cos x plus e power x sin x so this will give you f double dash x is given by now this term will cancel out so that will give you 2 e power x cos x so again from here we will write f triple dash x so that will be given by Two times minus of e power x sin x plus e power x cos x. So now we will see fourth derivative. So fourth derivative is given by. This will be. This is minus two times, and e power x sine x will give you again, as we have already calculated, e power x cos x plus e power x sine x plus two times e power x cos x will give you minus of e power x sine x. Plus e power x cos x. So again, we will see. So this cos term will cancel out, and this will give you minus of four times e power x sin x. now we will see fifth derivative so fifth derivative will be given by and this is minus 4 and e power x sin x this will again give you e power x cos x plus e power x 
sin x. Now, if we calculate this value at x is equal to 0, so this will be given by, this is minus 4, so e power 0 is, this is e power 0, cos 0, and sin 0 is 0, so this will be the value. So cos 0 is 1, e power 0 is 1, so this value will be minus of 4. So if we have to find coefficient of coefficient of x power 5, so that coefficient is given by f fifth derivative at 0, x is equal to 0, divided by factorial of 5. So, that will be given by minus of 4, and factorial 5 is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. And that will be given by minus 1 by 30. And if we calculate this up to two decimal places, this will be minus of 0 0.033. So this numerical value will be minus of 0 0.033.